It does not want to go out over here, huh? Right in the center over here. Can you, can you get it right here, Adam? Yeah, I'm going to actually go around. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send a check. Hey, listen, you got half a day. All right. Come on right there. Hey, it's catching back up. Need a hand? It's, it's catching back up. Got a little spot over there too, trying to hide from you. Yeah, I got you. Appreciate you, man. I was God just bless trying you. Trying to uh, stop the. Yeah, guys, yeah. So. Thank God for you. That was the biggest thing. Yep. Might be over on that side some. Nope. Go ahead. No, I got it. Coming back up over here, Adam. Yeah, there you go. Where he's got, where he's at. Yeah. Yeah. Also in the back right here, toward that uh, that tractor, there's some phosphorus or something going on right there, glowing.
just getting brighter. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that's weird. I don't even know what that is. But it's going out. I can actually, um, let me see, can I? I might have the key to this one. If not, we can cut it. Um, we'll just cut it right before so you can reuse the lock. If you okay. want. Let's see if I have it. Okay, how do I see? That should be it right there. Can you advise the commitment time? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you.
No, sir, they shut the water off on us uh, in, in uh, the hottest month, in June. Yep. Try to get it back on, they wouldn't turn it on for us. Okay. Yep. Appreciate you. There was some kind of phosphorus or something going on back here that was burning and wouldn't the water was making it uh, more active. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll have uh, magnesium. Yeah, magnesium. Thank you. Exactly. So like an engine block or something in there? So it was like uh, I believe it was the uh, the motor of a hedge trimmer. Oh, there you go. Right, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you guys, man. So, How you doing? are you the property owner here? Not the owner, just security. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any intel about interactions you've had with anybody around here? Anything you saw today? Because I have to do the kind of the investigation on this. There was uh, some dude that was here before um, in a silver car. Um, once upon a time, just happened to uh, hear him out here or something. I came out. He was poking around. This is a few weeks, months back or something. Poking around, you mean looking in this here, way? In here, in here, and all that. And he was just here just now, same guy. And I was, uh, he was talking about some girl that uh, body got dumped here or something. He's like, isn't this where they found that dead girl or something like that? And I'm like, I don't know about any of that. Um, and he was, uh, his his whole thing was talking to me, he was saying that I was, you know, trash and treasure, just looking for, you know. And I'm like, well, you seem to know that this. Uh, did know this place right but it's not the place you know what i mean right and um there's this other girl that i you know um uh, see around here um I'm was listening. here you know stacking everything up so i don't know who which, which one of them it was but it was one of them if not both and as you as i'm sure you're aware this isn't the first time uh, I, 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 this is number four for me today right so. oh. I mean, right here though. This, this. Oh is... no, I haven't really been in here much. So, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I just need any eyewitnesses, any license plates, anything said, any. If you had a falling out because you no. took somebody out, no. any of that stuff I can put in a report. It was like somebody got paid to do so again. Okay. All right. Well, I just have to record the incident. Uh, yeah. No witnesses, essentially. Um, that's unfortunate. Kind of wow. how it works is if you give me a name or if you have any other info at all, it just kind of starts going into a file uh -huh. uh, in the system. And then if we get identical fires, it kind of starts lining up and they start matching. And mm -hmm. it's a whole thing. It's, it's usually a number of, of uh, fires it takes that we need to catch up with whoever. But... The funny thing is, I was just asking her name. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, hey, don't breathe too much of this job, man. Yeah. Uh, no well, we're going to be working on it for a while. I'm just, I have to do the report and the investigation. So when did you see the fire and where were you? I was up at my place right there in the front, security trailer in the front. Okay. Um, I, I heard a pop and I said, well, that sounds familiar. Right. Come on back to the side after I just got done speaking with him. They were both here. He was in the silver car in between right there clearing the tree, those two trees. Uh -huh. 
she had some tent. He asked her, whose tent is that? She's like, mine, I, uh, you know, I built this thing. And I thought she was cleaning up, moving in, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I heard all the stacking up and, the, and this, that, and the other of, of this, the debris being moved around right. and, and compiled. And, um, you know, uh, personal feelings about that aside, I just, uh, you know, heard her doing that and then I minded my own business. And uh, next thing I know, I hear him popping crackle snapple and I look over and sure enough, it's all the way up. And um, How big was it when you first saw it? First saw it as at least, you know, up below this this um, this tree branch. Okay. And then it just went all the way up. So it wasn't, in your interpretation, it wasn't a small fire that kind of got going. It seems like there was quite a bit of fire all in one, more than Doesn't than take just, much to set it off though. It right. could have been a simple little flame or cigarette. I don't know if well, it was it takes a lot to get tires going. Right, and that yeah. was that was all, this is a massive pile of debris. So it could have just gone up like that and then the whole thing went up. Right. Um, but I don't know. Um, I mean, this has happened too many times for it, for, it, for me to, to, to rule out intentional arson because right. they had already tried to do so, try to burn me and my dog alive up in there. Um, very specifically and, and directly in, intentional and deliberate type of thing, vindictive, all that. Literally after the day of the argument, uh, right. day of, actually, as a matter of fact. So, uh, you know, but as far as who, there's multiple people that could be involved. Uh, I'm not going to speculate. Well, the sh sheriff, a couple of them are really have a pulse on who's who in the zoo around here. Have they made any contact? Have you made contact no. with them? I mean, not just now? No. Just ongoing. Just ongoing, yes. Okay. Yep. We've got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to touch base with them and see if they know anything about some of the, the silver car and a couple in here. Because they make, uh -huh. all they do is make contact all day long. I know, and right? And yeah. it works out when I'm like, hey, I'm looking for this guy. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's over here. Right, right. So even though the new world order that we live in doesn't <laughs> allow us to do much. Right. That's right up to now, each one of us to definitely stand um, against, you know. The sheriff's doing what they can. Right. A couple of old school sheriffs that are still around still do it old style. Right, good. And um, we're able to make an impact the best we can. That's what it's about. Um, so anyway, I appreciate it. Likewise. We'll make sure that's totally hogged out Thank and you. to the best of our ability. Thank and you. then uh, I'll reach out with you before I take off okay. uh, just to make sure you're satisfied with everything. Do you stay in the area at night? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay. All right. Yeah here to make sure this stuff doesn't happen that's what i'm here for so someone is having you take care of this stuff um the uh the individual that had a, um, a rental agreement up front oh. that had thirty five thousand dollars worth of property stolen from him here set me here okay. to make sure nothing else gets stolen right. Um, and then he, me and him have had disagreements and, uh, and then the property owners are selling it. So it's exchanging hands. Right. And so it's a big yes. mess like the fire leftovers right. here. It's what it's like, uh, logistically. <laughs> All right, man. Well, God bless you. <laughs> we're going to, I'm going to record the events, file the fire report. And like I said, I'll touch base with you. Make sure you're good with everything. Appreciate but it. We'll be working on it. So then I got to go grab my forms. Yes, sir. Um, I'll be, uh, I'll be here if you need right. anything. What was your name, man? Uh, I'm Eric. Eric? Captain Rue, B-R-U-E. Logan. Logan, good day, sir. I'll talk to you shortly. God bless you.
Go. Nope. Go over there. 